Hi, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to add rational expressions that do not have common denominators. In order to add, we first need to make the denominators the same. We have 1 over 5 plus 1 over y. We need to make those denominators the same by multiplying by a fancy version of 1. So if we look at 1 over 5 and we look at 1 over y, we want the denominators to be the same. This denominator has a 5. This denominator does not have a 5. So we can multiply that denominator by 5. However, if we multiply the denominator by 5, we must also multiply the numerator by 5 because 5 over 5 is 1, and anything times 1 is itself. This expression uh, has a 5 in the denominator, but it does not have a y in the denominator. So we can multiply the denominator by y, but we also must multiply the numerator by y for the same reason as before. Now we're looking at 1 times y is y over 5y plus 1 times 5, which is 5 over 5y. And now we can combine those. And when we combine those, we get y plus 5 over 5y. If we look at our second example, we have 2 over x squared and negative 3 over 7x. We see that this expression has an x, but it needs an x squared. In order to make that happen, we multiply the top and bottom by x. So our least common denominator here is going to be 7x squared. We see that this has an x squared. It needs a 7, so we would multiply the top and bottom by 7. 2 times 7 is 14 over 7x squared minus 3 times x is 3x over 7x squared. And now we can combine these into one expression since we have common denominators. And we get 14 minus 3x. And there is no like terms there to combine. If we look at our third example, uh, we need to get common denominators. But the first thing we need to do before we try to get those common denominators is factor the denominator. So we get 7 over. We can divide by 3x, factor that out. We're left with an x minus 2. Uh, minus a 2x, and in the denominator we can factor that. That would be an x minus 2 times an x minus 2. We can go ahead and change this to uh, addition and switch the sign of the negative 2x. At this point, we want to get the denominators the same. So this has 1x minus 2. This has 2x minus 2s. So I would need to multiply this by an additional x minus 2. This has 2x minus 2s, but it's missing the 3x, so we would need to multiply the top and bottom by 3x. We can distribute the 7. 7x minus 14. Our denominator would be 3x times x minus 2 times x minus 2. We can write that using parentheses if we wanted. Plus, Negative 2x times 3x is negative 6x squared over 3x times x minus 2 times x minus 2. Since our denominators are the same now, we can write this as one big expression. We have a negative 6x squared. Combining like terms if we have any. We don't have any in this case. So we can just write this this way. 3x times x minus 2 times x minus 2. And we could write that using exponents if we wanted to. In our fourth example here, we want to get the denominators the same, but we have an 18 and 27. We actually have coefficients this time. So we want to find the least common multiple of those so we can find the least common denominator. So if we think about the multiples of 18, 18 times 1 is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. 18 times 3 is 54. And 18 times 4 is 72. We may have to list out more multiples, but for now, uh, that should be good. The multiples of 27 are 27. 27 times 2 is 54. And 54 times 3 is 81. Uh, that should be enough for now. The smallest number that these multiples have in common is 54. So we want to make 18. Uh, we want to multiply 18 times something to get 54. So 18 times 3 is 54, so we need to multiply the top and bottom of that fraction by 3. 27 times 2 is 54, so we want to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by 2. 
Now, at this point, we want to also look at the variables. We have an x to the third over here. We have an x over here. We need to make those the same. Uh, so three x's compared to one x. We need two more x's, so we will multiply by x squared on that side. So we get three over 18 times three is 54 x to the third, plus five times two x squared is 10 x squared over 54 x to the third. And at this point, we can add those together. We get three plus 10 x squared over 54 x to the third. In example five, we need to factor the denominators first. So we get x minus one over uh, x plus three times x minus three minus, we can go ahead and uh, switch that to plus a negative two x. So we get negative two x on top. And in the denominator, we can, what can we multiply to get negative 12? That has to give us negative one. That would be negative four and positive three. All right, in this case, they both have an x plus three in common. They do not have an x minus three in common. So the fraction on the right, the expression on the right, uh, we need an x minus three. Now, the expression on the left, on the right has an x minus four, but the expression on the left does not have that. So we would need to multiply that expression by x minus four. And then we have three binomials in the denominator. We can go ahead and multiply the numerators together. We can draw a box or we can foil this. Uh, x times x is x squared x times negative four is negative four x, negative one times x is negative one x, and negative one times negative four is positive four. I'm gonna go ahead and write this as one big fraction. I'm gonna go ahead and distribute the negative two x. Negative two x times x is negative two x squared, and negative two x times three would be positive six x. All over our common denominator, which are the three binomials, x minus four, x plus three, and x minus three multiplied together. At this point, we can combine like terms. We have an x squared and a negative two x squared, which is negative one x squared. We have a negative four x and negative one x, which is negative five x, plus six x is positive x. And then we also have a four there. Uh, no other like terms for that. So that goes on top. And then we can put these other things on the bottom, x minus four, times x plus three, times x minus three. We wanna to check to see if this can be simplified. Uh, I don't believe it can. So at this point we are done uh, with example number five.